welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading woo, for Thursday the 14th of December 2017. We are using the Aquarian Tarot. Valentine joins us from somewhat of a distance. We'll see how that works out. This is for all astrological signs. My voice is slightly deteriorating. <laughs> Okay, thank you everyone for all your comments as well. And oh, that's interesting. We had that yesterday. And if you're new, welcome. And do consider subscribing if you enjoy the video. Ooh. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. If you want to donate to the channel, you can do that in the description box below. Or you can visit my website, gemstonetarot.com. What interesting cards. I want something to go in the middle. It's you then that's sticking out. Oh, I was waiting for that. Hmm, okay. Yesterday we had a reading with the Two of Cups in reverse. We talked about disharmony. We talked about parallel universes, <laughs> parallel lines, getting along with people, not getting along with people. Now, <laughs> Two of Cups in reverse. Two days in a row, and Valentine getting inside a bin bag. Brilliant. Now, 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 again, in the middle of the reading, full moon, the moon card, Pisces card, for me, the Neptune card. Still, there is an air of confusion around things. The word is illusion. I'm getting illusion. It's either disillusionment or somebody is creating an illusion and I say that because Major Arcana the magician in the reverse is in the mix. Now the magician and here it shows it really well actually the magician uses the cup the sword the wand and the pentacle. I always want to go Cluedo, I always go the dagger, the rope, the lead piping, <laughs> Mrs White in the library the magician uses the four elements of the tarot. They are external to him. He channels the cup and the pentacle through the wand and the sword, okay? He has different ways. There is alchemy. He mixes things up. He produces something when he's in the upright. When he's in the reverse, he becomes more of your kind of TV variety show magician, you know, badly fitting suit, pulling rabbits out of hats, things coming out of his sleeve like this, that thing where they do, is it sausages? <laughs> a string of sausages. And it becomes an issue, especially with the moon involved, because often the magician and the moon come together, okay? And the way that I see it is I always picture like an old stage, red, heavy, smelly, musty velvet curtains. And what you need to do or what you want to do is kind of peek behind the curtain and have a look. And if we were come, if we were at a full moon, that's exactly what happens. You know, things get, the, the, the curtains get parted and we see. I don't think at the moment we can quite see. I think this moon card is showing us what's going on at the moment, which is a fog, it's a confusion, it's the inability to make out who is who, what is what, are they really who they say they are, is this just literally an illusion? Now the thing about the magician as well is he believes at the time that he is, that he is who he says he is. That was a very convoluted way of saying it. He believes in his tricks. 
they're very convincing. Anyone who is a pathological liar is usually a very, very good one because when they're in the moment of telling a lie, they are the truth of it. They literally pour themselves into that mould. Shapeshifter. He's a shapeshifter. Oh, thank God. These readings, I must apologise this week, with Mercury retrograde, I'm <laughs> just like groping around for words and then they're just bobbing up suddenly. Some of us are dealing with a shapeshifter. Okay. Then we have two pages. Interesting. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups is an offer. This fish coming out of the cup, that's an offer. For a few people, this could even be a romantic offer with the Two of Cups in the mix. Could have been the same yesterday because it came up yesterday. If so, be very careful who you're dealing with. Very careful. Because it's a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde character and I feel they're giving you the good version of themselves. Whereas if you peeked behind the curtain, you might see how the tricks are done. You know, who nobody wants to see how the tricks are done. But nevertheless. And then down here, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is very practical. It's an earth sign. It's patience. It's being reliable. I feel with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles that this person has two faces. And at some point, they can seem very reliable and they can seem very convincing and like you can depend on them. And then at other points, they become a lot more ephemeral, a bit more flaky. Either way, I wouldn't pin your tail on this particular donkey is what I'm trying to say. When the moon is out and about, you think of yourself going through the forest. If you're doing it by daylight, you can see where you're going, you can see where wood for the trees, you can see where the path is. If you're doing it in the moonlight, it's a lot more feeling your way, it's a lot more shadowy, there is a lot more difficulty tripping over, there's a lot more difficulty seeing where you are. The whole place changes, the whole landscape changes. Shape-shifting, just massively getting shape-shifting, so I'm going to stick with it. Oracle card. Where have you got Valentine? Oh, you're right behind me. I was there having a little wash. My chair is extra creaky now. I've got my heated cushion. It's brilliant, quite honestly. And I got so many. Ooh, heated contraptions. I've got one for my feet, one for my behind. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to have hand warmers. This is a really interesting oracle card. And I tell you what, I really like what she called again, Colette Baron reed for this. Because not all her oracle cards are sparkly. Orphaned. There's a couple of things with this. One, some of us may be vulnerable to this shape-shifting type of person at the moment for one reason or another. We may be a fish out of water, we may have lost our support network, we may just be feeling lost in the world, lost in our lives, a bit lost. Which makes us very good prey to people like this, who can come across as someone that can be counted upon, someone that can be relied upon, but actually, they can't, they can only be relied upon to change. And the other meaning I get for this orphaned card, and I've been getting this all week for my readings, is just that for some people this is about losing parents. And again, feeling that feeling which never goes away, no matter how old you are, of being cut adrift. This week, with this energy, with the moon, with the amount of confusion that's going on, with the amount of retrograde energy, which always makes us 
look back usually for good reasons it is a reset it's almost better just to feel it and then it can move through us and pass on want another card to go with that Sonia Coquette ask your guides Ooh. okay <laughs> Interesting. We get boredom. Competition. And risk. This person, this magician person may be egging you on. to sign up for something, to do something with them. It may even be like romantically to hook up with them, whatever it is. It's the kind of equivalent of someone going, oh, go on, you know, what's going on? Nothing's going on. You know you want to, let's just do it. That sort of thing. With the amount of Neptunian confusion going on, I would say it was probably ill-advised. You don't know who you're dealing with. On a good day, you get your page of pentacles, perfectly reliable. On a bad day, you get your page of cups, much more ephemeral and liquidy. Oh, I like that. And we get the trust card. Do you know what? I'd go so far as to say, trust only yourself at the moment and you can't go far wrong in the short term. Trust yourself, trust your place in the universe. I know we have this orphaned card and this can be feeling very out of sorts with the universe or just kind of homeless. I don't mean literally homeless, but that you don't belong. Trust your place in the universe. Trust that the universe has your back, literally. Don't place your trust in the shapeshifters. A weird message, leave me a comment. Let me know how that resonates with you all. Okay, see you tomorrow. Namaste.